Hi guys, my name is Richard from the Grotto Adventures and I approve this message. All right guys, so here's what we're gonna do today. I'm hooking up a water pump so I can actually have shower in the grotto or outside the grotto whenever we go to the beach or boondock, whatever. But I wanna actually have a pump pumping the water up to the actual on-demand heater that's gonna be powered by my propane. And um, this is a six amp pump. The switch is obviously not a six amp switch. So I'm gonna hook up a relay. It's always best to hook up a relay whenever there's a lot of voltage being drawn. This is a five pole relay, which means one for power going in, one for ground, one for switch, and two for power coming out or load. I'm gonna show you how to hook this up. Um, actually, I have this box. It's a waterproof box, but I'm actually not gonna use the waterproof aspect of it because I don't plan on having this out in the rain. If it's out in the rain, I'm not gonna be taking a shower, so I'm not even gonna worry about that. But this happens to be a waterproof box, and I'm going to hook up this relay inside. Now it just so happens that this actually has a spot right here where I can hook up something, screw it in there. And by coincidence, the bolt that came with the relay happens to be the exact same size to go in there, screwed in, I've already tried it. Just happened to be like that, right? So I love repurposing stuff, by the way. This is an old relay I had when I used to work on cars, probably about 25, 30 years ago. So um, I'm just repurposing that. I'm repurposing all of these. You can see these have been cut. I'm gonna go ahead and make these nicer. And I have a soldering iron over here. Everything I do is soldered. I, I put crimpers on there and I'll actually crimp them with a tool, but I always solder everything and I shrink wrap it. That's just the way I am. I'm kind of uh, anal about that. So again, I love to repurpose old wires. This is something I cut for something or another. You might wanna say I'm a pack rat, but I like to keep things around. I um, already got a, a spade on the side of it, and I'm just going to cut it and repurpose this. This is going to be for my switch. Now that leaves me two openings here. Right here, either one of them's low. It's 87A and 87B, or you can leave the letters off. But it's set for load. So either one of those would be the load, which would be going to this. This would be my load. Obviously, this is going to be power in. I put a little red on it. It's gonna be power coming in from the battery. This is gonna be ground, and I'm gonna ground that to either chassis ground or the battery. In my case, I'm gonna ground it to the battery. This is gonna be for the switch. Now the way the switch is gonna get power is it's actually gonna feed off of this as well. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna put a splitter on here. And then of course this is gonna, either one of these is gonna to go to the pump. I'm gonna go ahead and hook this up. That one, power in here. Now this is a light up switch and I'm not really concerned about the light. I really don't care whether it lights up or not. Although, eh, it's kind of a neat little thing, I guess, but 
I don't really care whether it lights up. Okay. And the last thing is to make one more wire to come out of there. And I'm just going to have it dangle in here until I get the other wires coming in. Amazon should be here soon. Then I'll go ahead and bolt this down. All right, now that I got all the wiring together, I haven't screwed down this top yet because I may have to take it apart and probably screw it up, which is a possibility. I'm going to go ahead and hook this up to a battery. I have a separate battery. I'm going to go ahead and just set right here, and I'll be right back. All right, so now I've got everything wired up. I'm going to go ahead and touch the battery terminals. We're going to find out which one of these poles is on or off of the switch and which direction this is going. So hopefully we'll get this all figured out. Let's see if everything works or if it blows up in my face. Okay, so we know that is on, which is where it's supposed to be, but I have it hooked up to the wrong part. I have it hooked up to the actual light. So let's go ahead and fix that right now. All right, let's go ahead and touch this again and see if we hear the noise. Of course, the motor's not doing anything, but the light is on. So, of course, by this point, I realized I best check the wiring. I know my wiring was good, so the only wiring it could possibly be is the wiring from the pump. And uh, sure enough, the manufacturer didn't crimp it right. All right, so when I finally got everything wired up, Everything works just perfectly. Remember, the manufacturer didn't crimp it correctly. So what I did was I crimped it, I recrimped it, and then I soldered it and plugged it right back into the pump. Make sure everything's going to work right. And it works perfectly. Just exactly the way I decided to set it up. But it's just the way things work. They don't always work right the first time. And it wasn't even my fault. Usually it is my fault. But this time it wasn't. So, so remember, my name is Richard from the Grotto Adventures, and I approve this message.